The term observable universe refers to the portion of the universe that we can observe and study using telescopes and other instruments. However, this capability is constrained by light, the principal source of information about the universe, which can only travel at a certain speed. As a result, we can only observe events or objects within a certain distance from us. Things or occurrences that happened long ago cannot be seen directly. The diameter of the observable universe is estimated to be roughly 93 billion light years, which is significantly larger than the estimated age of the universe, thought to be 13.8 billion years old. This discrepancy exists because the expansion of the universe has caused objects that were once close together to move farther apart, and the light from those objects has taken longer to reach us. The observable universe is a vast and amazing space, but there is still much we do not know. Through the use of telescopes like NASA's James Webb Space Telescope and other scientific instruments, we continue to better understand the universe's structure, history, composition, and various phenomena. Join us as we explore the discoveries made by the James Webb Space Telescope in the far reaches of the observable universe. If you're interested in learning more about the universe and its surroundings, subscribe to our channel, like this video, and turn on the notification bell. What lies beyond the observable universe? To reach the far reaches of the observable universe, we would need to develop transportation methods that transcend space-time, such as distortion engines or wormholes. These concepts have long been debated among scientists, some of whom believe they are impossible or contradict the idea of faster-than-light travel. The feasibility of such possibilities, which rely on cutting-edge technology beyond humanity's current capabilities, remains a hotly debated topic. Even if possible, it would require technological advances and machinery far beyond our current capabilities. According to the theory of cosmic inflation, the universe's total size is at least 10 but 23 times larger than the observable universe. This number is so vast that it is hard for the human mind to comprehend. Since we cannot see or measure the unobservable portion of the universe, we cannot know with certainty what lies beyond its limits. However, this does not prevent us from constructing hypotheses based on the information we have gathered from distant galaxies. NASA plays an important role in this endeavor. In collaboration with other space agencies and research facilities worldwide, NASA has made significant contributions to our understanding of the universe, even before the James Webb Space Telescope became operational. Before the James Webb Space Telescope was launched, NASA had already made available images of the ultra-deep field obtained with the Hubble Space Telescope. However, when the James Webb Space Telescope began operations, it observed the most distant galaxy ever recorded. These galaxies, visible in the photos, were shining in the distant cosmos as they appeared millions of years after the Big Bang, which occurred approximately 13.8 billion years ago. The cosmic expansion stretches light to redder wavelengths, allowing the James Webb Space Telescope to detect infrared light. This has enabled us to observe galaxies forming in the early stages of the universe's history. The James Webb Space Telescope has made observations of several fields of distant galaxies, allowing scientists to study the rate at which stars formed in the early universe. This data revealed the existence of a significant population of galaxies that were forming stars in the early stages of the universe. These discoveries are truly fascinating and thought-provoking. For a long time, humans have contemplated the possibility that we are not alone in this vast universe. These new observations within the observable universe lead us to believe that there must be millions of galaxies in the unobservable portion of the universe. This idea is truly shocking and awakens a sense of wonder and awe at the vastness of the cosmos. Are there extraterrestrial beings somewhere in the universe? The likelihood of life beyond Earth has never been more compelling, leading us to consider the possibility of extraterrestrial existence. Numerous planets outside our solar system, known as exoplanets, have been discovered using techniques such as the transit method and the radial velocity method. Some of these exoplanets may have characteristics similar to Earth and could potentially 
Harbor Life. This theory has received support from another discovery made by the James Webb Space Telescope related to the exoplanet WASP-96b. This planet, located outside our solar system, revealed something surprising in its spectrum. The presence of water molecules. Additionally, the spectrum showed hints of fog and mist, which were not previously thought to exist on a habitable planet. Based on environments present elsewhere in the universe and considering advances in the search for exoplanets, it is impossible to rule out the possibility that alien beings exist beyond our planet. Although we do not yet have conclusive proof, these discoveries and evidence suggest that the existence of extraterrestrial life is a fascinating possibility. What about the multiverse? In relation to the vastness of the observable universe, the possibilities are endless. The concept of the multiverse, also known as the many worlds interpretation, is a theoretical idea in physics and philosophy that suggests there are multiple parallel universes or dimensions beyond our own. The multiverse is mainly discussed in the context of quantum physics, which deals with the behavior of tiny particles such as atoms and subatomic particles. According to some interpretations of quantum physics, the act of observation can cause a quantum system to collapse into a single state. However, in the many worlds interpretation, observing simply leads to the system splitting into multiple states, each representing a different outcome. It is important to note that the multiverse concept remains highly speculative and is not supported by conclusive evidence. Therefore, it is difficult to state with certainty whether it is a valid concept. Some philosophers and scientists find the idea of the multiverse intriguing and potentially useful in describing specific phenomena, while others are skeptical about its validity. Given that we do not know what lies outside our universe, the possibilities remain open for exploration. The possibility of the existence of a multiverse remains as valid as the famous Schrodinger's thought experiment or the nature of darkness. It is a concept that arouses fascination and reflection, but more research and evidence are required to confirm it. Does the dark flow phenomenon exist? The question is complex and raises an intriguing issue. Dark flow emerged in 2008 as an alternative possibility to explain the observation that galaxy clusters appear to move faster than expected based on the distribution of matter in the universe. The concept of dark flow suggests that these galaxy clusters may be influenced by some form of dark energy or matter that pulls them in a particular direction. However, dark flow remains controversial and has not yet been accepted by the scientific community. A number of studies have found that dark flow may or may not exist due to the presence of a large structure in the universe that exerts an attraction toward galaxy clusters. Other studies have failed to confirm the existence of dark flow and have proposed that the observed motion of galaxy clusters could be caused by other factors, such as systematic errors. In contrast, some studies suggest its existence, but we cannot say with certainty that it is present outside the observable universe. More research and evidence are needed to better understand this intriguing phenomenon. What do you think? Let us know in the comments. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and we will see you in the next video. The limit of the observable universe is defined by the cosmic light horizon, the maximum distance from which light has had time to reach us. Since the Big Bang, this is not a boundary of the universe itself, but rather a limit to our observation. Beyond this horizon, the universe may continue indefinitely, or it may curve back on itself, depending on its overall shape and structure, which cosmologists continue to investigate. The Cosmic Microwave Background, CMB, a faint glow that remains from the Big Bang, is the farthest back in time we can observe using electromagnetic energy. It offers a snapshot of the universe when it was only 380,000 years old and remains a crucial piece of evidence for the Big Bang Theory. Eventually, if humanity overcomes the massive technological challenges, we may attempt interstellar travel. Concepts like fusion, antimatter drives, or propulsion, such as the Breakthrough Starshot Initiative, 
which aims to send small spacecraft to nearby star systems propelled by solar sails and powerful lasers, represent the early seeds of this dream. Even more speculative technologies, such as warp drives or Einstein-Rosen bridges, wormholes, are being explored. Despite the fact that many of these remain confined to science fiction, they reflect humanity's innate desire to reach beyond the stars and find our place in the universe. The observable universe, vast as it is, might only be the beginning of a much larger reality. Take a moment to imagine that everything we have seen, every planet, star, and galaxy, is just a small fragment of a far greater cosmic structure that lies beyond what we can see. The light from those faraway regions has not yet had enough time to reach us. That does not mean they do not exist. It simply means we are not yet able to witness them. As we build more powerful telescopes and develop new detection methods, we are not simply gazing further into space. We are examining the past. Every photon we detect carries with it a story from a time when the universe was younger, more chaotic, and full of primordial energy. Each image we capture is not just a snapshot in space, but a relic of cosmic history. Yet, the universe continues to expand, and this expansion is accelerating. This means that some galaxies are being pulled so far away from us that one day their light will never reach us again. They will vanish beyond the horizon of our observable universe, disappearing from observable reality. We are, in essence, witnessing a slow fading of the universe's grand tapestry, an inevitable separation from regions we once hoped to explore. It raises a haunting question. Are we living in a shrinking bubble of visibility, a temporary window, through which we can catch a glimpse of the universe before it vanishes indefinitely beyond our reach? Despite our efforts to investigate, we must also come to terms with what lies beyond, considering how little we know about what is right in front of us. Dark matter continues to elude direct detection, making up most of the universe's mass, yet remaining invisible to our instruments. Dark energy, even more mysterious, is the driving force behind the universe's accelerating expansion, but we do not know what it is or why it exists. All we know is that the more we learn, the more questions arise. Our pursuit of cosmic knowledge is no longer just about looking outward. It is also about looking inward at our own place in the cosmos, at the limits of human perception and imagination. We are a species with curiosity written into our DNA. And despite the limited reach of our instruments, we persist. Somewhere out there in the darkness may lie answers to questions we have carried since the dawn of time. What sparked the universe? Are we in fact alone? What are space and time? Are there other dimensions not bound by the physics we know, interacting with ours in ways we cannot yet detect? The observable universe is not just a boundary of light, it is a boundary of understanding. As we push closer to its edges, we are reminded that exploration is an endless journey. Each new discovery brings more mystery, and every answer spawns a thousand new questions. But perhaps that is what makes it beautiful, not the certainty, but the wonder. Not the destination, but the endless pursuit. So the next time you look up at the night sky, remember this. You are not just seeing stars. You are looking at time, at history, at possibility. You are witnessing the visible edges of a universe. That might be infinite, one that keeps secrets we have yet to even imagine. And this is only the beginning.